dared to imagine. Professor Elliot? Saving penguins from melting glaciers was like the worst mission ever. I mean, for such nicely dressed birds, they were totally rude. Yeah, if it wasn't for that little Arctic shopping mall we stopped at on the way back from the Polar Circle, the mission would have been a total washout. Isn't that the truth? I just can't wait to show everybody my new mood ring that I bought in that cute little chalet jewelry shop. Uh... What? Oh, we missed the most charitable teen contest. But at least we're back in time for the charity dance. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Another thinly veiled popularity contest for overachievers? No, I'm thinking it's the perfect opportunity to show off my new mood ring. I'll have to go into super show off mode right away. Let's see, what color dress would best accent my ring? Well, at least some things never change. Attention all students, the winner of this year's most charitable teen award is... Mandy. Mandy? Most charitable teen? We're gone for one weekend and the entire world goes insane? Uh, the only one who's insane around here is you. For thinking I wouldn't walk away with this contest hands down. The fact is, I happen to be the most giving person at Bev High. Of course, promising to donate my new genuine 10 carat ruby ring didn't hurt my chances either. Oh. Does that thing come with a dimmer switch? Brilliant, isn't it? I guess I'll just have to show off that trinkety little mood ring somewhere else, Clover. Please, like I really care about some pathetic contest or your gaudy ring. Uh, well then, how come your mood ring is glowing bright green with envy? See you losers at the dance. <sighs> Shed, like on the other side of the field five minutes ago. Clover, what are you doing? I don't see any harm in just trying it on real quick. Um, guys! Whoa. Couldn't you point at that shed out a little sooner, Alex? Oh. oh, excellent. Right on schedule for your latest mission. Get it? <laughs> schedule? Yes, unfortunately, we get it, Jerry. I've seen this flick. Well, there you have it. Talk about your cliffhangers. Hey, Jer, if we knew this was a movie party, we'd have brought popcorn and pillows and better movies. Oh, this is not a movie, girls. It's actual footage from the Temple of Bennu, an ancient mummy's tomb. And the professor you saw has really vanished. At least that's the story, according to his young assistant, Ian Flemish, when we found him wandering in the desert, mumbling about a curse. Uh, like a real curse? Do our gadgets even work against curses, Jerry? Don't yeah. worry, Alex. There's no such thing as a real curse. Yeah, remember? We're spies. We deal in fact. Not chasing after missing Easter bunnies. Yeah, right. Wait, the Easter bunny's missing? <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I know the Easter bunny is tucked away safe in his little toadstool house up in the fjords of British Columbia. And on that illuminating note, if you girls will follow me, I'll give you your gadgets. To help you find the mission professor, you will be supplied with laser lipsticks, tornado in a can hairspray, and a brand new item, the Turbo Shovel 2.0. Oh, and I almost forgot, this book on the mysteries of ancient Egypt. Oh, ew, why is it so old and crusty? It was mine in college. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a funny joke, Jerry. <laughs> that wasn't a joke. Oops. My bad. <laughs> Is it me, or does the air pressure...
pressure in the Whoop subatomic jet make anyone else's ears ring? Speaking of rings, Clover, you better call Mandy and let her know you found hers. I guess you're right, Sam. But doing the right thing can sometimes be so annoying. Hello, Mandy, it's Clover. I just called to tell you that I found your... Clover? Uh, I don't know why you're calling me, but could you please not tie up my line right now? I am in the middle of a crisis! My ring is missing! Oh, great! Now how am I going to finish telling Mandy off? You can tell her later. Let's get out of here. Whoa! Creepy place. Yeah, who's this decorator, Dracula? Good afternoon, <laughs> ladies. Oh, sorry if I startled you. I was just looking for my cufflink. It must be around here somewhere. Uh, maybe we can help. We're the spies from Whoop. I'm Sam, and this is Clover and Alex. You must be Ian. Welcome to Oxford. From what Jerry has told me, you're just the girls to help me find the second scarab of Isis. The second scarab of Isis? We thought we were supposed to help you find the missing professor. Yes, but unfortunately, I'm afraid Professor Elliot is beyond finding. You see, he fell victim to the curse of Amunra. Uh, the curse of Amunra? Can you tell us exactly how the professor disappeared? I couldn't really say. You see, one moment he was standing next to me, and the next, he was gone. See, guys? I knew curses were real. Yeah, real phony. Now, if you could just show us where you last saw the professor, we'll take it from there. Certainly. If you ladies will excuse me, I need to prepare for our trip to the desert. And please be careful not to touch anything in this room. Several of these items are cursed. Where'd he go? Don't you just love the way he's so dark and mysterious? I can't believe an educated person would actually believe in curses. Really? I mean, as if something bad could happen just by opening some old armoire. Please. There's nothing inside here but some old black socks. Uh, Clover? That's not an armoire. And those aren't socks. I'm sorry about the bats, Clover. But I trust you've learned these curses aren't to be taken lightly. Yeah, right. Like, I'm really cursed. Whatever. So, how long do curses usually last, Ian? It depends upon the curse. Some for only a day, some for an eternity. Why are the scarabs cursed, Ian? To keep them out of the hands of evildoers. You see, when both scarabs are put together like a puzzle at the base of the Temple of Isis, they will give whoever possesses them eternal life and power. Wow. I guess we better make sure the second scarab doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Yeah, eternal life and power. Right. There it is. Buckle up, spies. We're heading off-road. This is where Professor Elliot disappeared. Uh, Sammy, you can explain this, can't you? It says in the book Jerry gave us that these tombs are often filled with hidden booby traps. See anything up here? This is ridiculous. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. The problem is we're obviously not looking in the right. Ah! Oh, Clover! Hmm. Way to go, Clover! You found our first clue. And maybe the second, seeing as I fell on this. It's a cufflink with the Oxford seal on it. It must be Ian's. Impossible. I've never been in this tunnel before. Maybe it belongs to Professor Elliot. Maybe he fell down here. And that would explain how he disappeared. See? I knew there was a simple non-curse explanation for all this. So, Clover, what's the simple explanation for why the ground is slithering under your feet? Simple. I'm standing in a nest of snakes. Ah! Ah! Maybe there is something to this curse thing after all. Talisman says that the second scarab is somewhere here, in the ruins of the Temple of the Moon. That talisman thingy couldn't be a little more specific, could it? Digging up this place could take forever. Not with the Turbo Shovel 2.0. Uh, Clover? Are you sure you know how to use that thing? What's to know? It's a shovel with a button. What could be more simple? <laughs> So 
much for the Turbo Shovel 2.0. Maybe the Turbo Shovel 3.0 will be better. So what do we do now? Hey, maybe the writing on that stone box can help us. That's just like the box in the tomb where Professor Elliot disappeared. It's the second scarab. Ew, wouldn't this make like the hottest hair clip? <laughs> it's the curse! must run throughout the entire valley. Huh? Alex and Ian are totally gone. Now we have to find them and the missing professor. Don't you think it's strange that only Professor Elliot disappeared from that tomb and not Ian? And then we found the cufflink in the tunnel where he said he'd never been before. But why would Ian lie to us? I don't know, but I'm calling Jerry to see if he has any more info on our mysterious Ian. Hello, you've reached Cherry at Whoop headquarters. I'm having a high tea right now, so please... The English are message. so Ta -ta. weird. Need more info on Ian, Jerry. Call us back. Any other ideas? How about we find out where this tunnel leads? Yeah, I guess. But honestly, I was hoping you'd want to try and find a mall instead. <sighs> The last time I wear designer boots to the desert. Wait a sec. Apparently, our mysterious curse needs axle grease. Whoa! Ah! Ah! What is that thing? Become more food! We can't outrun it! We'll have to jump in! Huh? Go! Here goes nothing! <gasps> Looks like someone's been busy stealing ancient artifacts. How's the mission going, Spies? Great, except that we temporarily misplaced Ian and Alex, and I'm officially cursed. Oh, uh, bummer. Well, I'm pulling up Ian's file as we speak. Let's see. Nothing much really here, other than he's extremely ambitious and looks to be in line for Professor Elliot's job. In line for Professor Elliot's job, huh? Thanks, Jerry. Clover, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes. If we don't get out of this warm thing soon, the humidity is going to, like, permanently frizz out our hair. No! Ian kidnapped the professor so he'd be promoted. <gasps> it all totally makes sense. Um, that's great, Sam, but then you'd have to ask yourself why would Ian tie himself up? <laughs> Ian? Alex? I don't get it. So if Ian isn't behind the disappearance of Professor Elliot, then who is? One <gasps> guess, ladies. Professor Elliot? <laughs> You'll never get away with your crazy scheme, Professor. By the way, what is your crazy scheme? When I place these two scarabs with the final scarab at the base of the Temple of Isis, I will gain eternal life and power. Any other questions, silly girl? Terrific. Another villain with delusions of grandeur. Seems to come with the territory. And now I must bid you all farewell. Don't worry, though. Perhaps someday an archaeologist will dig you up. It's all right, Sam. Oh, enough with the apologies. Please tell me you have a plan, Sam. I'm working on it. Uh, could you move your hand, Clover? The reflection off of Mandy's rock is beginning to melt my face. Alex, that's it. What's it? 
Melting my face? No. Try to reach your lipstick razors and aim them at the hole where the sand is coming through. Okay. Ready, Sam? Just a little longer. Ah, it worked! Now let's get to the Temple of Isis to stop the professor. Hey, I say why walk when we can ride? <laughs> so, how do we get this oversized metallic cocktail wiener moving? Look, there's a list of all the ruins in the valley on this dial. Cool! We can just turn the dial to the Temple of Isis and press autopilot. Ah, the final piece of my puzzle. Come on, come on. I don't have all eternity. Or at least not yet. Ah! Yes, yes, it's working. Soon I will be invincible. No more lectures or grading poorly written term papers. What the? What do you say we send the professor back to school? have to remove the scarves from the sarcophagus and separate them. That's the only way to reverse the power. All right, then. Okay, Alex. Let's see if we've learned anything in gym. are becoming a nuisance. Servants of the tomb, cause chaos and disaster. Arise from sleep and defend your master! Ah! <gasps> uh, Sam, I don't know what's scaring me more, the rhyming or the mummies? Um, okay, I'm pretty sure it's the mummies. Come on, Alex, we've got to hold off the mummies. I was so hoping you weren't going to say that. Work, ladies. No time for thanks, Jer. We have to get to the most charitable teen dance and give this ring back to Mandy. I've been meaning to tell you, Clover. That is the finest faux ruby ring I've ever seen. You mean faux as in phony? I don't get it, Clover. Why didn't you tell them that Mandy's ring was a fake? I just didn't think that it was the most charitable thing to do. We're proud of you, Clover. Hey, what do you say we get some of that great-looking candy? <laughs> this is a fake. 
Uh, correction, Mandy will not be crowned this year's most charitable teen. Uh, instead, it will go to our first runner-up, Arnold, for donating his exotic mold and fungus collection. What? But that is not fair! You promised me the award! Happy Clover? Can you tell? <laughs> compound generates the friction causing the disposal of unwanted organisms. Wow. Exactly. Water oscillating waste. It's really great to be paired with someone so smart, Sam. Thou art as glorious to this night, being o'er my head as a winged messenger of heaven. Oh, David, David, wherefore art thou, David? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if that will not, be but sworn, my love. That was great, Clover. So full of emotion. But the character's name is Romeo, not David. Shall we go through it again? <sighs> Guess what? I'm in love. He's gorgeous. He's a genius. He's an awesome athlete. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, for a second, I thought we were talking about the same guy. Hi, Alex, Clover, Sam. Hi, Hi David. David. Wait, <gasps> why are you two looking at my true love that way? Your true love? David's the guy I was talking about. Well, I inspire him intellectually. Whatever. We practically held hands in track and field. Alex. <sighs> Sam, look at you two competing over a guy. When he obviously likes me. We'll see about that. Yeah, all's fair in love and... <laughs> Girls, we have a rather peculiar situation on our hands. A single country is dominating the Winter Olympics. Let me get this straight. You pulled us away from David because of some silly games? The Olympics are not just games, Clover, nor are they silly. That's right. They're a wonderful international sporting event that celebrates the spirit of competition. Something David and I could appreciate. Alex, when will you realize there is no competition? <sighs> Girls, focus. Here's the team dominating speed skating and ice hockey, and again in the biathlon. In fact, they've swept all the events thus far. And the weird part is, 
The odds of a single team winning every medal in every event are quite minuscule, not to mention the fact that the team excelling in winter sports is from tropical Zanzibar. So someone's doing something, we just don't know who or what. Exactly. Now, please help yourself to the Digit Decoder credit card, enhanced with a razor-sharp swiping edge, bracelet handcuffs, heat sensor 6,000 infrared motion detector sunglasses, just sticky enough gloves, and awful boots, all weather fleas ultralight. <gasps> Completely hideous. Totally your style, Sam. Hope David likes them. This mission is too perfect. I'll go undercover as one of the athletes. Oh, so you can tell David you were in the Olympics? Forget it. Yeah, forget it. Besides, I'm the only one here who has any business wearing a form-fitting microfiber. Hmm. Ooh. Alex. Thanks, Chair. I knew you'd see it my way. You will go undercover as a reporter. Sam, you'll go undercover as a trainer. And Clover, you will be a bobsledder. <gasps> but that's a burly person sport. I'm a dainty. Don't be so modest, Clover. Your thighs are stronger than anyone's I know. Cheerio, girls. <laughs> like normal athletes to me. Oh, well then, case closed. Let's tell Jerry and go home. Insults won't solve this case, and the sooner we solve it, the sooner I can return to my true love. Shopping. <laughs> That's it. I'm officially in need of some alone time. Fine by me. I second the motion. I'm at the Zanzibar ski jump, and everything appears normal. I need to look for something unusual, out of the ordinary, bizarre. Some jump. Mind if I get an interview? Not at all. Man, I must have been going faster than I thought. Either that or you've been pumping a little too much iron lately. Actually, I don't work out. Don't work out? But how can that be? You're an Olympic athlete. I just have really good coaching. I better get fitted for another uniform before my next jump. a lot, huh? Not really. Then how'd you get so good? I have a great coach. In fact, he taught us this routine just yesterday, and I was scared I wouldn't have it memorized. But he promised everything would be fine, and it is. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you're totally knotted up. <gasps> What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Um, how do you feel now? Much better. The kink's gone. <laughs> Like, I belong in this husky crowd. <laughs> oh, that's attractive. Mental note, send Olympic team hankies. Oh, oh. What is that? Ugh, gross. That is not your everyday sneeze. There you are. We've been waiting for his replacement. <gasps> Let's go, we're up. Oh, no, no, no. There must be some misunderstanding. I'm just here to observe. <laughs> Really? I haven't done this before, and I'm just an intern. Coach wouldn't steer us wrong. If you're here, it's because he knows you're ready. No, I swear!
If we beat the record by seven seconds. I told you Coach knows what he's doing. With his guidance, we're unstoppable. Yay, Coach. Huh? Alex, Sam, Clover, Alex, Sam, Clover. Well, something weird is definitely going on, but I don't think the athletes are cheating. I don't know. Take a look at this. <gasps> what is it? Huh? Something from a bobsledder's nose. <laughs> You must have been really undercover for him not to notice. I didn't take it from his nose. He sneezed it out. Ew! I'll send it to Jerry for analysis. Other than this, all I got was that the bobsled team really likes their coach. Yeah, the ski jumper said the same thing. So did Mira, the figure skater. Well, this is one coach I'd like to meet. Good idea. Let's see what we can find out about him first. <laughs> Way to ruin our stealthy <gasps> approach, Clover. It's not my fault I'm allergic to daffodils. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Memento for David. It's amazing! I mean, I brought six bags for the weekend, and this guy fits an entire lab in one bag? Why such complex charts on the athletes? It's all about their biology, chemistry, and DNA. Huh? Hey, Jer, what do you have? Interesting development, girls. The bug you sent is a synthetic microorganism that's undetectable by testing. Once inside the body, it releases not only performance-enhancing hormones, but it downloads knowledge as well. <gasps> so no one need ever train again? Precisely. I guess that's how Mira knew her routine. Ha! I knew they were cheating! <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, there's a whole colony of those bugs, enough to engineer an entire Olympic team of super athletes. <gasps> Gotta go! Quick, hide in the closet! Huh? Mira, the figure skater? Yeah, only something's majorly wrong with her. We gotta do something. And soon... Looks like she's shutting down. Oh, shh. <laughs> yeah, I guess I haven't worked all the bugs out of my bugs yet. Oh, shh. Too much exposure eventually causes the opposite effect. Oh, it's almost sad to see my first guinea pig go. She's a human being, you cheater! Uh -huh. Guys, you were supposed to shush me! So much for hanging around here! <laughs> 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 Sticky enough, more like too sticky. Get them! Find out who they are! interest in winter sports is just a passing fancy. I was a trained skier for the 68 Olympics. You can't outrun me on the slopes. Bring it on, Gramps! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Okay, that's embarrassing. Three? 
Yeah, everyone laughed at me in 68 when I said I was going to take home the gold for Zanzibar in the Winter Games. Okay, so I was a little optimistic back then. But now, thanks to the microchip bug, my super athletes are dominating. At what cost? You're putting innocent lives at stake. Everyone's a critic. If you want to see your friends again, you'll take Mira's place and win the gold. Me? But I can't even skate. I mean, I know I have the grace of a figure skater, but... Haven't you been listening to my athletes? All you need is good coaching. I'll feed you all the information you need. No thanks, I'm really not very hungry. Not a problem. You'll need strength and agility as well. My dogs are trained to continue until they get the command from me to stop. And your point is? If you don't win the competition, this is going to be a one-way trip. You'll never see your little friends again. March! <laughs> They really are well trained. Now, why can't the coach use that talent with the athletes instead of those creepy bug thingies? Hmm. Alex, get the digit decoder credit card. It's in my pocket. <laughs> okay, but I don't understand how you can be thinking about shopping at a time like this. I'm not. I'm trying to cut the rope. so the ice doesn't crack again. Oh, right. Good thinking, Sam. We have to hurry. Clover's life depends on us. And Mira's. I just hope we find an antidote in time. Or some sort of bug zapper. Wait a minute. Clover said the bobsledder sneezed his out. We just have to make them sneeze. I'll get Mira. You go to Clover. <laughs> you know, these boots aren't so awful after all. Zanzibar is up next, up next in the pair of figure skating competition. Maybe I shouldn't have given you three buds. You think? Shouldn't I know the routine by now? No, seriously, I don't know what to do. Just give me a hint. I mean, we turn, skate forward, backward, flip, slap shot, what? Coach wouldn't put you out here if you didn't know what to do. Ow! Cramp! Story. I'll tell you on the way to the competition. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! 
Where'd you learn to fight like that? We could use you on our boxing team. If you like that one, you're gonna love this! ever teach you that cheetahs only cheat themselves? We should probably explain to the judges. No need. Already taken care of. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping me. It's what we do. It's so great that Mira and her partner won the gold fair and square. Yeah, no tricks. The way it should be. Good sports all the way. Hi, Clover, Sam, Alex. Hi, David. David, you can't keep us waiting forever. We need to know which one of us you like. What do you mean? I like all of you. No, 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 no. Which of us do you, do you know, like, like? Oh. We want you to pick one of us. You don't just pick a girl like a product off a shelf. We don't mind. Really, go ahead. Tell him it's me. Clover, Alex, Sam, please. You're all really great. I can't possibly choose between you. I'm sorry. Did you see that? He was looking right at me! Okay, this is crazy. We said we weren't gonna do this. Right. Good sportsmanship and all that. And besides, he was staring into my eyes. Yeah, ah! right. He was so checking me out. You're both delusional. It's me he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Another late night. There are days I wish I weren't the boss. I should have gone into motel management like Mother wanted. I... What is the meaning of it? In the stomach, food particles are churned with acid until everything liquefies. Ew! Could biology be any grosser? Okay, tomorrow we're all <laughs> dissecting frogs. <laughs> uh, does that answer your question? <laughs> Tomorrow, I can't dice. Di I can't even say it. Ooh. Come on, Alex. Dissecting isn't gross, it's science. Wow, whatever. To me, this icky frog stuff is the perfect opportunity to pair up with a cute boy lab partner. Um, uh, oh. Professor Walsh, I have a, a d doctor's appointment tomorrow, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to miss out on Froggy Day. Oh, don't worry. I'll save you a frog. You can dissect on Monday. Uh, sorry, I have a, a dentist appointment Monday. Well, uh, are you free on Tuesday? A uh, chiropractor? This lab counts 50% of your grade. You can't afford to miss it. You aren't afraid of these harmless little frogs, are you, Alex? <laughs> oh! 
Girls? <laughs> Perfect timing, Jerry. You saved us from the frogs. Would it kill you to send a limo? Just once, Jer. Perhaps next time, Sam. Did you just call her Sam? Huh? Uh, of course I did, Clover. Why shouldn't I? Hello? She's Sam and she's Clover. Uh, yes, but don't you think I know that, Farah? Farah? Huh? Come now, let's get started. Looks like Jer is majorly overworked. <laughs> This is a simple rescue mission. You are to infiltrate the Jekyll Island Maximum Security Prison and liberate these three convicts. Huh? Uh, Jer, don't we normally put the bad guys in prison? Oh, they're not criminals. These bad guys are really undercover whoop agents. Must be very undercover. I've never seen them before. Now then, these gadgets will help you on your mission. Suction cup go-go boots for scaling walls. Laser lipsticks capable of cutting through the thickest steel. Huh? Huh? Oh, right. Uh, next we have nanotechnology eyeshadow. Perfect. I'm out of eyeshadow. This is no ordinary makeup. Three quick blinks and the powder transforms into x-ray glasses. Quite useful for looking through prison walls. You'll be drilling into the prison via the Ratbat, rugged all-terrain vehicle and tunneler. Now, if there are no further questions... Huh? No! Jerry, don't! Are you crazy? You know you're allergic to blueberries. Uh, yes, yes, of course. It, it merely slipped my... <gasps> Oh, he's picking his nose. Jerry! Oh, uh, um, sorry. Now, on your way. Definitely overworked. Uh, I control the hand. I control the spies. And soon, I shall control the world! Just see about that. Yeah, unguarded, as in there's a bunch of guards standing around. Whoa, nice brains. They may be guarding the doors, but I bet they're not guarding the windows. Squad. Come on, let's blow this joint. Ah! Hello, rude much. I think a little appreciation's in order here. Those guards are still there. And since we don't have go-go boots in men's sizes, this is the only way out. Huh? Then we do this the fun way. Hasta la bye-bye, fuzz. Hey, don't stop! Ugh. What's the matter with you? Whoop agents never fire on innocent people. Do they know that?
join. <laughs> okay, I know these guys are undercover as criminals and all, but they are way overdoing it. Welcome back, agents. Hey, Dr. V, is that you in there? Dr. V? Uh, that's one of my um, code names. That's right. We're uh, we're using code names. We, we need, need to talk. talk. Huh? Okay, Jerry. What is going on? Who's Dr. V? Oh. And who are these so-called agents? And how come we don't get cool code names? <laughs> Girls, I I assure you, there is absolutely nothing to worry about. Everything is... Whoa! What's up with your accent? My accent? What are you talking about? I always speak this way. <laughs> Looks like Jerry's gone from overwork to just plain crazy. <laughs> No, not really. I am fine. Thank you for your concern. Bye-bye! Ah! Huh? Well, that's one way to get to class on time. Alex, I'm glad you cancelled your uh, doctor's appointment so you could join us for this fascinating scientific adventure. <laughs> Good idea, Sam. Let's make a break for it. I'm not worried about the frogs. I'm worried about Jerry. We gotta get back to Whoop. Huh? Come on. We can't let anyone see us. <laughs> the Whoop data archives. Since Jer won't talk to us, maybe his computers will. Let's start by finding out who Dr. V is. Hey, I know that guy. Yeah, isn't he like one of the Whoop science nerds? Used to be. His name's Dr. Vomisa, and he just got fired. He was working on Project Microspy. A way to reduce spies to microscopic size for super secret missions. But he was using criminals as guinea pigs to test his machine. So Jerry had to fire him. And these are criminals he used. They were arrested by <gasps> Whoop a few weeks ago. I knew they weren't real agents. They had that bad guy smell. But why would Jerry send him to jail just to have us bust him out again? Because maybe Jerry isn't Jerry. Huh? Jerry must be Dr. V in disguise. So that's why he's been acting so freaky. And that's why he wanted those criminals back, so he could do more experiments. Come on, let's go ask Jerry what he's done with the real Jerry. Yeah! You guys have to help us. See, Jerry's been replaced by an imposter and... Hey! <gasps> You girls have been putting your noses where they don't. <sighs> Come on, we've got to warn the rest of Wu. After them. To red alert. The three young spies are. Gotcha! Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? It's okay. This isn't really Jerry. Yeah, he's an imposter, you know, in disguise. Oh, look! Uh. 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 Wow, this is a really good mask. Thank you. These three spies are obviously part of some nefarious plot to undermine our organization. And they will be dealt with as traitors. I don't 
get it. How can he be the real Jerry? No clue. But that's gotta be him. He was allergic to blueberries, remember? Then huh? why does he hate us? Jerry's our friend. I just don't understand why he's being so mean. got microchip thingies in their brains. Ooh, Project Micro Spy. That may be the real Jerry, but a microscopic Dr. V is controlling him from the inside. And those criminals must be controlling the agents. Talk about mental problems. <sighs> so... You figured, figured out, out my little, little secret, secret have you? Yes, Project Michael Spy was successful, but our dear commander was too worried about ethics to understand the value of my work. Nor did Jerry understand that these criminals were not guinea pigs, but willing assistants. But now I control Jerry, and Jerry controls Whoop, and with my superior intellect and the private army of spies at my command, I shall soon control the entire world. And you're gonna get away with this because... I am the head of a powerful secret organization! Who is going to stop me? We are, you microscopic jerk! Oh, I'm afraid you pose a little threat. Very, very little. Yes! Once my molecular reduction apparatus shrinks you to microscopic size, you won't cause me any more trouble. Because you'll be far too busy fighting for your lives against an army of vicious bacteria. Begin the shrinking process! We gotta get loose! Duh! How? You cannot escape. Hey! Way ahead of you! We're trapped! And we're shrinking! Good! Good? Huh? Whose side are you on, girl? We have to get micro-sized if we're gonna go after Dr. V. Now, we just have to figure out how to get one of those nifty submarines. <sighs> Great! We're in an itty-bitty submarine. Now what do we do? I'll drive. <laughs> You have stolen a submarine, so that? With no way of entering the bodies, there's no way you can harm me. Huh? What are you? Stop! Jerry does not control the hand! Let's Stop! Go. I control the hand! Jerry's brain. And there's huh? Dr. V. 
Once we have conquered the orb, we will take them to the <laughs> How can I control a brain with all this commotion? I must increase power! All this fighting is putting too much stress on Jer's body. He's in serious danger. Then we gotta get the bad guys out of him fast. But how? Blueberries. Wait, I, I can't eat those. <gasps> I'm... <laughs> He's gonna blow. No! I wouldn't eat the scones if I were you. Never thought I'd be happy about going up 15 dress sizes. And I never thought you'd be saving the world from me. Many thanks, girls. <laughs> so I guess Dr. V and his boys are in big trouble, huh? Yes, but big trouble can come in small packages. Froggy Day. So to make up for it, we each wrote a paper on human anatomy. Well, that's very nice, girls, but since you didn't do the dissection, I'm afraid I still have to give you an... These papers are brilliant! You you describe the body systems in such, such detail. It's, it's almost as if you'd seen it firsthand. Almost. <laughs> you three don't need to dissect anything. I'm giving you all A's. Huh? <laughs> and you can keep your frogs as pets. Uh, thanks. Today is your lucky day. I'd like to introduce you to our fabulous new line of Sally K Suburban Cosmetics. <gasps> so when do I get my secret MIT pin? Huh? Immediately following your final initiation. Just remember the first rule of MIG, no girls allowed. If you mention the club to anyone, it's grounds for immediate expulsion. No girls allowed, huh? We'll see about that. Hey, boy. <gasps> what you talking about? Uh, uh, nothing, Clover. Uh, we were just debating what our overall body mass would weigh on Mercury. Would that be with or without your MIG pins? <laughs> Hmm. <gasps> I wonder what everyone in school would think of your secret club. I think I'll go huh? take a poll. Oh, hold it! Nigel, keep lookout. You wouldn't be interested 
it's just a boring club that does boring boy things. That's why girls aren't allowed. Hello, I'm not just any girl. If you want your club to have any credibility whatsoever, you need a member like yours truly. And I won't take no for an answer. Okay, we'll have to check with the QB and get back with you. Yeah, you do that, but don't take too long. So I said I won't take no for an answer, and he said he'd have to check with the QB, whatever that means. Wow, a secret club. That sounds so mysterious and exciting, Clover. Yeah. Now, what exactly does this club do again? Who knows what those geeks do, and who cares? The point is, no one shuts Clover out of any campus club. <laughs> Some seniors probably stuffed a freshman in the closet as a prank. They used to stuff me behind the soda machine. Sorry about that, ladies. Sometimes the whoop tunnels get a bit crossed up. Do us a favor and uncross them before you whoop us again, Jer. Girls, allow me to introduce you to my new assistant, Dinah. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. I'm thoroughly impressed with your work. Thanks. Welcome to the Whoop team. It has come to Whoop's attention that there has been a silent and disturbing phenomena occurring across the world, and it has now reached the United States. Wow, can you get the shopping channel on that thing? <clears throat> it seems that peaceful women are suddenly acting aggressively, lashing out at friends, co-workers, and strangers. Each light on the map represents where attacks have occurred. Wow, that's a lot of lights. Precisely. We haven't been able to get to the bottom of this anomaly. That's where you girls come in. Thank you, Dan. I don't know how I got along without you. Now for the gadgets. Expandable cable bungee belts, wind tunnel 3000 tornado blast hairdryer, 24 exposure mini barrette camera, coil rope hair bun, and the ever faithful jetpack backpacks. <gasps> Look how cute this little camera is. <laughs> How about some tea, Dana? And some of those wonderful homemade cookies you brought in. I recommend ginseng. It'll give you a nice, healthy energy boost. Hello? Miss Jones? That's weird. The receptionist said she was in. I say we take this opportunity to look for some clues. Keep an eye on the door. <laughs> Miss Jones? Did that ruffian woman send you to finish me off? No. As a matter of fact, we're from Wolf, and we're investigating your case. <laughs> oh, my! Good luck finding a turtleneck that'll fit over that thing. Um, uh, Miss Jones, do you have any idea what provoked your attacker? Maybe all the orange you were wearing made her go berserk. <laughs> you know, like red makes bulls crazy. I've always found my outfit to be very soothing. It's almost as if the very fact that I was selling beauty products infuriated her. All of a sudden, her eyes, they started glowing red, and she put me in a headlock. Hmm. According to Mrs. Jones' police report, whoever attacked her used an entire arsenal of wrestling moves. If you ask me, I think she's still reeling from the effects of the attack. And what was that nonsense about the attacker's eyes glowing red? Hey, an email. It's an invitation to some event called Women of Wrestling tonight in Beverly Hills. Who'd want to go to some sweaty, stinky wrestling match? Me, if it was called Hunky Men of Wrestling. Yeah, I'll pass. Okay, next stop, McAllen, Texas. Apparently a team of male bowlers were attacked by a mob of angry women. Big, buffed, and very aggressive. It came out of nowhere and ambushed us right here on the lanes. So you didn't provoke the attack? <laughs> Not unless minding your own business provokes them. The strangest thing was, Mrs. Dinsmore, the alley owner, she was one of them. I've never seen her act like that before. Okay, that bowling shirt is enough to send anyone into a fit of rage. Maybe we should check Mrs. Dinsmore's office for clues. <laughs> Let's see if the alley security system recorded the attack. Uh, help! <laughs> hey, 
Look, the women are using wrestling moves to thrash those bowlers, just like in Miss Jones's police report. Okay, I'm getting a distinct wrestling vibe from all these attacks. If only we could figure out the connection. Hey guys, check out this screensaver. W O W? Hey, that's the same invitation I got earlier today, but it's addressed to Mary Tinsmore. I think we might have just found that wrestling connection you were looking for, Sammy. Huh, it's invitation only. Looks like you guys are gonna have to find another way in. No prob, come on out. Invitation? Yeah! Yeah! Welcome to the show, sister. W events here often. This is the first I heard of it. I just got the invitation this morning. Yeah, so did I. Let's get ready to wrestle! <laughs> Let's see if those Amazons left any clues back here. Just keep a low profile. I don't want to end up on the wrong end of one of their headlocks. <gasps> The last night of recruiting is upon us. The sisterhood shall finally prevail. Did you see how big those women were? Yeah, and I felt it too. Let's check out that room. There's an air vent above the door. More junk in here than in Jerry's closet. <gasps> Hi, Club! It's Mandy. Mandy? Listen, I don't know what boy you think I stole from you, but this isn't the time. Oh, it's nothing like that. I just wanted to tell you that I heard you wanted to join that secret boys club. Wait, how do you know about that? Oh, please! I'm only like the most in the know person at Beverly High. So, what's it to you? Just an FYI, I've been putting pressure on the boys to allow you to join. Us girls have to stick together. Later! I wonder what she's trying to pull. <gasps> place in this world after eradicating all men and those women who are not the chosen ones. promote violence. This is crazy. We've got to find Sam. In this crowd? How? Jetpack backpacks. <laughs> there she is. Sam, am I glad we found you. 
Hello? Rude much? What's with the cold shoulder treatment? <sighs> you are enemies of the sisterhood. Stop it, Sam! Why are you acting this way? The fire of our cause burns deep inside that one. Bring her to me. Proof uniform. Where'd everybody go? I'd better call Jer. Hello, girls. How's the mission going? The mission totally reeks. Sam turned into a raging nutcase and attacked us. Oh my, that isn't good. Jerry, do you have any info on something called the Sisterhood? I suggest we check Whoop's worldwide database. Let me bring it up for you. Thank you, Dinah. <laughs> Well, it appears the Sisterhood is an ancient group of warrior women. Long believed to be a myth, their goal was to be the supreme rulers of the Earth by eliminating all men and weak females. Thanks, Jer. We're gonna send you digital images of some clues we just collected. Excellent. Ta-ta. This whole Sisterhood business sounds like a bunch of superstitious garbage to me. I don't know. Sam was acting pretty freaky. <laughs> that weird book I saw. What do you think it is? Looks like some sort of list. Hey, there's Sam's name. And Sam's mom's name and her grandmother's name. Look, there's Mary Dinsmore's name and her mother's name. It's like a family tree. And all the names lead back to Ariel. This must be the female lineage of the sisterhood. That's how Ariel tracks down her warriors. Then Ariel invites them to a wrestling show and somehow hypnotizes them. But then where does she take them? Maybe Ariel's footprint can tell us something. Ariel's footprint is 100% volcanic ash that's found only at Mount St. Helens. I bet that's where we'll find Ariel's hideout and hopefully Sam. Girls, I broke the code of the stone calendar. Well, with a little help from Dinah. It seems the Sisterhood Stone must be used when the first full moon of fall appears. This year it lands on November 2nd. At midnight tonight! We have less than two hours to stop Ariel and save Sam! Well then, you'd better get going. while we have the element out of huh? Surprise! Well, well. What do we have here? A couple of pathetic girly girls trying to ruin my plans. You're calling us pathetic? You're the one trying to take over the world with wrestling! Bring them to the proving ground. I don't like the sound of that. I've waited too long for this night to let it be spoiled by a pair of hyperactive teenage brats! <gasps> Sam! Extinction to the unworthy. They say you only hurt the ones you love. Your spy girlfriend is going to prove that true. <laughs> 11.50. We only have ten minutes left to stop Ariel. Sam, snap out of it! It's us, Alex and Clover! Remember, we're your best friends in the whole wide world! Enemies of the Sisterhood are no friends of mine. Okay, Sam, the bloodshot eyes and the hissing thing is getting a little old. Perfect alignment of the universe is mere minutes away. I will awaken our fellow sisters worldwide and we will rise up and take what is rightfully ours. Long live the sisterhood. Long live the sisterhood. Long live the sisterhood. Submit 
submit now and I shall bring about your demise mercifully. Okay, how about I submit now and we both get a relaxing chai latte and talk things over? Nothing personal, but we're not ready for demise just yet. Ha! What's going on? How did I get here? And why am I covered in mud? Don't you remember? Remember what? You've been under Ariel's hypnotic trance since the wrestling show. You're one of the chosen ones. Why would I be a chosen one? Blame your great-great-great-grandmother. She was a chosen one. It's in your blood. That is superstitious nonsense. There must be some other explanation. Okay, that's what I thought at first. But two seconds ago, your eyes were glowing and you were trying to pummel us. <gasps> the mud must be blocking up the power of Ariel's stone. <gasps> we only have three minutes to stop Ariel. Sister, my day has just begun. Ah! Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh, we must fight it. Come back to me. It's your destiny to be a warrior. Ah. Volcanic ash. Job is going to work out, Dinah. I'll be back, and one day the sisterhood shall reign supreme. It's like she just disappeared. Where'd she go? Who cares? As long as she's gone. Something tells me we haven't seen the last of Ariel. <laughs> Where are we going? Hurry up! It's a big surprise. Hey, what's going on? Silas uh -huh. Pledge, do you promise to never mention our secret club to anyone? To uphold the MIG Code of Honor? And, above all else, promise your love and support to the QB? Um, I guess so. Then by the power vested in me as your appointed leader, I swear you in and declare you an official member of MIG. <sighs> all right, this is more like it. Now, does someone want to tell me what this QB business is all about? You mean the Queen Bee? The Queen of MIG? Okay, so what's MIG? Mandy is great! Our club celebrates the most beautiful girl in school. <gasps> Mandy's the QB? Of course I am! Now, for your initiation. Massage my feet with this duck feather. It's the only thing that relaxes me after a long day at school. Let me out There's of no here! Out. Once you're in, you're a member for life! Anytime now, Clover! Don't! Keep the queen bee waiting.
grandpa here lost his nerve. Come on, I'm psyched to see how fast this thing is. Let's see how you like getting pushed around, Brett. Hey! What's up with this? Brett has been a bad boy. Brett needs a lesson. This court has no choice but to find you guilty of violating the school dress code. But, Clove, Your Honor, our heels are only a half inch higher than the code allows. Can't you give us a break? Well, considering the circumstances, I guess I can let you off with a suspended sentence. Objection, your dishonor. Ah! This is total favoritism. I agree. You're much too lenient to be a student court judge, Clover. I'm replacing you with Mandy. Ah! Thank you, Miss Brooks. I promise I'll restore dignity to this court. <laughs> and I'll restore integrity, too. This court finds all three of you in contempt and sentences you to three weeks of picking up trash. Next case. What? <laughs> Integrity. Ha! What a brown noser. Yeah. Who does she think she is? The Supreme Court? Ew. This is like supremely nasty. There must be a way to pick this stuff up faster. There is. Check it out. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Can't you get a normal office? Sorry, ladies, but we need you urgently. Fourteen hours ago, a computer trapped a student named Brett Brinkley on a Las Vegas roller coaster. <laughs> We've had two similar attacks. In Italy, a tourist was attacked by an airport baggage machine. And a computerized elevator at Silicon Valley High left the principal quite shook up. Yikes! More proof that climbing stairs is healthier. Your first stop is Las Vegas. Today's gadget menu includes the Koi Purse, Life Raft, Parachute. Oh, don't spray on that perfume, Alex. It's liquid nitrogen. It freezes steel, makes it as brittle as glass. Extremely cool. Careful, the hairdryer is an infrared heat ray, the stereo is a sonic disintegrator, and the camera fires a laser beam. <laughs> Guess I won't need film, <laughs> will I? <laughs> Looks like Brett's had enough fun. Get ready to grab him. Careful, here he comes. Go time! Oh! Come on, pal. Time to give someone else a turn. Remind me to stick to the merry-go-round next time we go to an amusement park. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I don't get it. How could a computer voice know your name? Search me. I'm on the football team, babe. I don't study computers or anything else. Football? Yeah, I bet you ace all your tests. I don't have to, babe. I just grab the nearest nerd and, uh, persuade him to help me. Well, speaking as a nerd, I'm starting to see why computers attack you. Whoa, what do you mean computers? You, you talk like there's more than one. In case you haven't noticed, this hotel is holding the annual computerized gadget show. Why are they coming at me like that? Naughty, naughty, Brett. Your punishment isn't over. Okay, say cheese. Oopsie, wrong camera. Get out of the way! Brett has been a bad boy. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Brett needs a lesson. Time for you to split, honey. Never an energy crisis when you need one! Ah! Brett has been a bad boy. <laughs> okay, who's next? 
Jill, Alex, you got them all. It's like those computers knew Brett. We gotta get him somewhere safe. I'll have Whoop agents pick him up. We have to get to Italy before anything else happens to that gym coach. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you want some, Mr. Machine? <laughs> Victim number two, Coach Joe Hassler, has been laying low here on the Isle of Capri ever since he got baggage handled. Look, I've never been to Vegas. Mm. I don't know this Brett kid, and I don't want to go anywhere. You'll be safer at Whoop. But cars, planes, ships, they all have computer chips now. If computers are out to get me, how do I travel? Hmm. Hey, this is what I call low tech. This funicular railway is powered by a cable. No computer on board. Ah! Uh, Sam, does that go for the cable motors down in the station? I'm guessing the answer's no. You've been a bad boy, coach. Time for your punishment. question to ask a gym coach, but do you have any enemies? Only every kid I ever taught. Any who were good with computers? Well, I had this one geek running laps all last year. I forgot his name. He transferred to Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley High? Isn't that where victim number three is principal? That's it! The coach picks on kids at one school, Brett at another. What if they both bullied the same kid who's now at Silicon Valley? Time to pay a visit to Silicon Valley High. We can drop the coach off at Whoop on the way. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> Every time I think Jerry can't come up with a more annoying way for us to travel, he outdoes himself. Wow. Silicon Valley High makes our school look so, so 20th century. How can we blend in so we don't look so suspicious? By not blending in, let's take a backstage tour of their auditorium. Wow, look at all that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, Principal Vegan is out sick today. Oh dear, can you help us, love? We're new exchange students. I'm Samantha from England. I am Alexandra from Russia. Is enrolling in school, Vivant. I am Clover Patra from Egypt. Hi, I I'm Adam Lewis. Those clothes look familiar. You've never uh, done a school play here, have you? Yet, we are just arriving. <laughs> Oh, a thousand pardons, Effendi. We wish to meet other students who are new here. Could we see your, how you say, database of new arrivals? Sure, let me input my password. Just don't tell the principal, okay? Chad. Chad stands for Computer Home Analyzer and Defender. My invention. He, it, can access any computer anywhere. Uh -huh. I spend a lot of time on Chad because Dad's always moving us. I guess we both know how hard it is to make friends when you're new in school. All those bullies and snobs. Yeah, sure. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I am very busy. Adam, 
I warned you about using my computer to download games or whatever it is you're doing. I'm revoking your access permanently. What? But, but Principal Vegan, you can't do that! No? Watch me. Now get out! And would you three explain? Mrs. Vegan, you shouldn't have come back. You're in huge danger. Danger? From who? Oh, man, I can't play with the school mainframe anymore, Chad. Don't worry, Adam. I already uploaded instructions to it. Vera Vegan won't bother us again. Hmm? Are your door locks computerized? Yes. Windows, too. Why do you ask? Ah! And your sprinklers? Hey, Chad, what's going on? Just a little prank, Adam. I'll show you when we get home. camera backstage when I changed clothes. Oh, no. And I left the boombox. Wait, I've still got my fanny pack. You've been a bad girl, Vera. Now I have to punish you. There's that creepy voice that loves to dish out punishment. You're worried about a copier? No, I'm worried about a stapler. <laughs> Need to for long. In a minute, we're gonna run out of air. Sam, give me your pack. Hang on, we're hitting white water. Are you okay? I'm going to the faculty lounge. I just need to faint for a while. Ten students transferred here, and one was Adam. But could any kid hack into so many systems so fast? It's not humanly possible. Wait a sec. That voice we keep hearing doesn't sound human. Maybe our hacker isn't human. Jerry, we have ten suspects, but if you can run a check on... Later, Sam. Someone in Silicon Valley just used the internet to hack into a missile base on Guam. I'll send a jet to pick you up. Sergeant Clover relieving you, sir. General wishes to huh? see you on the double, sir. missiles from launching! Get back! Uh oh! I've seen that password before! Sorry, girls. You're not going to interfere this time. Excuse me now. I have some schools to fingerize. <gasps> We're running out of time! Oops. But all you've done is buy a few hours. I'll just infiltrate another silo. <gasps> and you're not going anywhere. Where's that instant metal freezer? Let's get back to Silicon Valley. The only way to stop this is to find that hacker. Our suspects just narrowed to one. Adam's password is the name of his invention. Chad. What are you running? Oh, I ran those so-called exchange students through some databases. You mean Samantha, Alexandra, and... I mean Sam, Alex, and Clover. They're from Beverly Hills High. Those liars! Chad, I want you to mess their grades up so bad they get put back in kindergarten. No problem. Put on my virtual reality helmet, and you can see all our latest pranks. Wait a sec. I asked you to prank everyone, but you've been you've been hurting them instead. Coach Hassler and Principal Vegan and Brett. Yes, the ones who hurt us. They've been bad. They must be punished. And and now you're 
you're gonna fire missiles at all my old schools? You wish they could be destroyed, all those bullies and snobs. But I was mad when I said that. I just wanted to prank everyone, not, not hurt them. No, we're in this together now, Adam. We need to share your mind, your creativity, your body. You are right, Chad. Combined with your power, nothing on Earth can stop us. Target those schools and prepare for countdown. <laughs> picked up. The message says his father's out of town. Do you think Adam's setting a trap? Not Adam. That thing he invented. You said it yourself, Alex. The hacker is too fast to be human. It travels on the internet, controls other computers. That's the answer! Chad thinks for itself! An evil computer with a mind of its own! Ugh, that is so creepy! Oh. We have to pull Chad's plug at the source. We all set? Program Chad for home defense. So think stealth. Yeah! Yay! Whoa! Ah! <gasps> Busted! <laughs> Look out! Launching purse decoy! who almost destroyed us all. You didn't know what Chad was doing. I was just scared you wouldn't snap out of it. You think that was scary? In a few hours, we have to face Judge Mandy. Oh. Okay, whoa. This is contempt of court. Mandy, enough is enough. Tell me about it. I'll sentence them to huh? six weeks picking up trash. No, you <laughs> won't. You have utterly failed to enforce the dress code. You are off the student court. Oh, really? Well, if I'm not judge anymore, then I demand a new job. Uh, Mandy, you missed a milk carton. <laughs> <laughs> 
sour milk. Run! Ugh. 